Hey gang, welcome to another edition of Doc Schlock by Request, where it's a review of the movie Scalps. And this one comes to us from fellow YouTuber Roms Reviews, who... Hmm. You hear that? Hmm. That's some weird rock and roll, I'll tell you that much. Uh, it's the movie, it's the story of some archaeologists who, almost got that wrong, archaeologists who go to check out a dig at this uh, ancient Indian burial ground. Well, actually, it's an ancient Indian burial land, and, and uh, one of them gets possessed by a dead Indian named Black Claw. And it's a really messed up bad movie. It's directed by Fred Olin Ray, and he is pretty much notorious for really bad low-budget horror movies. Uh, the movie opens up with somebody getting decapitated. Not even a full minute in the movie, and somebody gets decapitated. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so there's this professor supposed to try and join the kids on the, uh, archaeological dig, but it turns out he backs out at the last minute because he thinks it could get them all into trouble and he doesn't want to be responsible. So we have three couples going on an archaeological dig. I think I mentioned that, haven't I? Like, what, four or five times already? And while they're there... You know, they are warned ahead of time by this, uh, by this drunk at a gas station to not go there and do the digging and all this other stuff. Of course, they don't listen. What kind of a horror movie would it be if they did, huh? I mean, smart, intelligent kids listening to somebody who they believe is an old drunk? What kind of movie would that be? Actually, it wouldn't be any better than this one. Anyway, they go to the, they go to the place... And one, and the first night there, they all, you know, the couples, well, at least a couple, one of the couples decides they want to kind of go off and spend a little time alone. They approach this fire, because they're all, all of a sudden hearing drums, and they're wondering where, where the noise is coming from. And they approach this fire where Randy tries to touch the fire and realizes there's no heat coming off of it. And then an explosion happens, and what, and what do you know? Black Claw has possessed Randy. So now Randy has become Black Claw. Don't ask me how this makes any sense. And uh, our main female hero is named DJ, and it's kind of an important, well, not really uh, point to all this, but I'm going to get to that hopefully here in, just a, here, here in just a minute or two. So Randy winds up going off with his girlfriend and then rapes and scalps her. And... Some of the most ridiculous deaths you ever see in your life. Uh, he shoots. He shoots one woman with about three or four different arrows, but she keeps on running anyway. Yeah, this this, this movie just got more and more ridiculous, and uh, and it seemed like our Richard Dreyfus looking male hero of the movie, whose name escapes me right now, like it matters. Uh, he winds up uh, killing Randy by shooting him several times. And then Randy goes from being Black Hawk to back to Randy. And then Mr. Holland winds up uh, seeing what he did and he calls out for DJ, who was hiding in their little station wagon. And, tur and then it turns out DJ is the one who decapitated the Richard Dreyfus looking dude from the beginning of the movie. The professor shows up the day after, morning after, tries to call out all the kids, hears a weird noise, thinks it's a tape recorder, tape recorder's not even playing, there's some weird drumming and stuff going on, goes inside this tent and gets shot in the eye by an arrow, and then you, and then you zoom in and see it's DJ has apparently been possessed by the spirit of, of Black Claw. And there was supposedly a sequel called Scalps 2 The Return of DJ, but I don't know how true that is. I haven't seen anything on it, but who knows? Who knows if it was ever made or not? But there you guys go. Scalps. They came out of the grave to get revenge. 
yeah, not exactly a zombie movie, folks. So special thanks to Rom's Reviews for his request, and if you have a horror, sci-fi horror, comedy horror, or fantasy horror you'd like for me to review, send it my way and I'll get on it as soon as I can. For Doc Schlock, by request, stay strong and rock on. Ah, screw this. I'm going to put on some village people.